Hello guys, happy Halloween. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to be making my dog, Lady Belle, a Zorro costume. Zorro, um, I'm talking more of the, the olden one, like the 40s one. Um, if, I think it was actually like 50s. Let me, let me check that real quick. I checked it and it is 1957 and it was a three season series. So there's that little tidbit of info. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to make Lady Belle. I was drawing out a couple different ones. So I'll, I'll show the illustration here. Um, and I wanted to do one that was like easy on budget, something that's doable, and something that I re can recreate that you guys can recreate quite easily too. So, um, and this one I did it without using a sewing machine. All I used was scissors. You can use uh, fabric scissors if you got them, uh, paper scissors. I used a, a, I cut a couple with paper scissors as well, which you're not supposed to on fabric, but um, I'm just showing that it can be done. I picked up like a scrappage of this one was foam ink that I got a while back from Joanne. So just anyone. I also show a knit because I ended up using the knit, which is a lot more stretchier for Lady Bell for her little mask because I didn't want it to be too tight on her. And I think that one worked out pretty great. So I used the foam ink for the hat um, and I used cardboard from uh, Lucky Charms box. So you can use a cereal box and just go ahead and make it like that. Um, I ended up using one layer for the second one and I'll show you guys because you know if you're, if you're new to this channel, I like leaving the, the parts where I mess up and then the parts where I make it better. Just because, I don't know, I feel like it's, it's more of a realistic thing where people make whoops. They have a little whoopsie and then uh, you know, you, you fix it or, or not, but you know, either way it's there. So, um, I wanted to go ahead and include that. Um, but then I do make the second one, which is a lot shorter and it looked better to her head. I did cut out in, uh, the circle so her head can fit on it. Cause the first one, I just kept it flat. I thought it would be fine, but it ended up just looking like I like superimposed on Photoshop an odd object on my dog's head. So no. <laughs> Um, I was going to make her like a little sword like sheath or like a little sleeve for her sword but I ended up just creating uh, the mask the hat and the cape and even with that I think it was sufficient because she, you you got the energy from it in the end so I think that for me that was a, a little win um, but I am gonna do voiceover Alice but I just wanted to kind of preface it by letting you know kind of materials uh, you know, the, the doability of this, it is pretty doable. So we should have some fun. And like I said, I didn't use my sewing machine. I didn't even hand stitch because I was going to hand stitch the strings that are on the hat to go around her, to her little face to hold it. I didn't even use that. All I used was glue stick, a glue stick, glue gun. Um, and it worked just fine. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it depends how big your dog is too. I should say my dog is you know, a hefty nine pounds. So <laughs> come here, come here. So she's a hefty nine pounds. So, um, you know, a monster, a monster afoot. So she, for her, it, it wasn't too bad. She was fine. Um, and oh, later. So for her, it, like I said, it wasn't bad at all. Like it fit her really well. And uh, I don't think she was, well, cause she's not really used to costumes either. So I don't think she was like enjoying it, enjoying it, but she allowed it. So we gave her a lot of treatos. We took a lot of pictures and uh, yeah. So without getting too, too much into it, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you guys think and let me know what you guys want to do for next year. Or if you're watching this in the future, what do you guys think? What's, what's the move there? <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much and I'll see you on the next slide. So what I ended up doing to measure her head is I just put this as a paper towel and then I folded it over and then I put it on her head. And it looked pretty well, so I'm gonna clip the side so it's a circle and then I'll put it here so I can start that. Okay, so first off, do you guys have a cutting face? Because I always do this when I'm using particularly paper scissors. <laughs> I don't know why I have the cutting face, but I wanted to say you can use this if your dog's head's a little bigger. Mine ended up working with the bowl, but this is still a good solution for those. Really quickly, let me segue into saying what materials we're going to be using today before I get to, into this. The supplies, <laughs> back to that. So we need a doggo. You doggo. Good girl. Then we got 
the glue gun. This is a Gorilla one with also the Gorilla hot glue sticks. I like this brand, so that's why I got it. Then we need uh, cardboard or in my case, a Lucky Charms box. Um, also, we're gonna need some plates because even though I drew this, we're gonna see which one matches the best. And some fabric. This is some old like faux mink that I have that I'm still gonna use because seeing that maybe to line it so it's a little cozy for her. We'll see. If not, I'll just use one. If not, the second or this is the main one I was gonna use. This is some black knit. So this one, it's a knit material. I got a bunch. I would say honestly, maybe like mm, you need maybe like half a yard. If you have a yard, that's cool too, just in case. But that's what we have. Um, and again, I'll show you guys just the glue option. And then if you want to be extra with hand sewing uh, the hem, or just leaving it ragged, kind of like like Zorro frolicking around, then I'll show you that and uh, we'll see what happens. But for now, that's what we need. If we're gonna go extra, we need a hand sewing needle and uh, a sewing machine. So there's that. Oh, also scissors. Scissors, pencil, eraser, something to go ahead and find uh, draw circles. That one's not that bad, but we'll see. So, ta -da! Okay, so yeah, I just used the bowl to outline that. I ended up using two layers, as you can see. But honestly, like you'll see in the other one, I ended up just using the one and it worked out fine. I also did cut the hole for a space for her head. I don't know why I thought it would work out that way. You know, it could just kind of sit there, but you know, just no. I think it's better to just go ahead and do that. I measured that a little bit to... Um, so it kind of has a little bit of dimension. Uh, but this is the first one that ended up being too high. But if you're looking to make like a top hat situation, this would work perfectly for it. Um, I did measure out two and a quarter the height of it. But the final one, and it ended up being a lot shorter. But I still wanted to include this one. So you guys can see, I just glued it. It kind of like teetered over it. But I didn't want to waste um, the material that I had. So I just went ahead and glued it. Also, be careful with the glue because it's really hot and... It was just, you know, just be cautious with throwing out that caution there. So if you're under 18 or a certain age, uh, have parental help. Be careful. Be safe. So I'm trying to wrap around the, the fabric to it. And um, I was going to see a video about like molding it, but I couldn't find it. So I ended up just doing it this way. And it worked out. The bottom of it, as you can see, it was a lot easier. I just clipped the bottom and then it kind of uh, glued on itself. But then I ended up using like something on the bottom too to make it look nice. But I don't know. So as you guys can see, it's more like a Lincoln hat. <laughs> but um, I still kept it for reference to the other one. Okay, so I'm going to make her a little uh, mask and then the cape. And we'll see where we are. Now for the cape, this is what I wanted to include because this is exactly what I did. I got a piece that was squared off, made sure that it was long enough so I can tie it around her neck or her chest area and she has room to breathe, move, move and stuff because I don't want it to be too tight. And I simply cut around it and that's it. Made the, the bottom a little like as hair uneven, you know, to give it a more natural look. But it came out great. <laughs> I literally went up to Lady Ball and I like put, placed it on her and she let me. I just marked them right there, so I'm gonna cut the eyelid, the little holes, and <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> She's a little sweet. I love you. Nope. <laughs> the way Lady Bill, Lady Bill, I'm gonna get a loose okay? <laughs> And reviewing that previous footage, that one I had made it in the mink, in the mink suede material, so she didn't like it. So I ended up making it in the knit, which is a lot softer, and I made it longer, so it worked out. Um, but right here, you guys can see she looks like a little, <laughs> like a little, like a, what is it, like a fryer. <laughs> but um, I cut out the hole, and this is a smaller one, as you can see, one layer, and then I put the other one, which was a lot smaller. It was about like a, you know, an inch and a half, and it ended up looking great. Look how tall the other one is. So I just went ahead and I glued that easy peasy um, and I actually glued it to the base itself, not like the first one. The first one, it was separate pieces, but this one I was like, you know what, let me just try to do it all in one and see how that works. I checked the reference pictures too and I noticed that he had that band like in the middle. So I was like, oh, perfect. I can go ahead and kind of discreetly cover if there's any like mishaps and stuff. So that is where we're at with this guy. Ta-da!
and it's really cool. She has a little hat now. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's still sturdy. It sits well on the head. And it, as you can see side by side, it is a lot shorter. It is a lot. I don't know. I just really like this one better. And I'm really glad I, I took the chance with that. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to remake it. And uh, I fast forwarded this because it was honestly a lot of just like seeing if I can pressure, like kind of pull it on itself, see how it works. I tried overlapping it like that. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just do like pieces of it and kind of stretch it on itself. See if that works out. And it did. So I had enough to go ahead and like wrap it on itself. This material is really stretchy. Um, also be very careful with the glue because it gets really hot and I burned my thumb a few times So just be very very careful as I said before very careful um, So I just stretched that out softly peep my nails They're They're all cute Halloweeny and then they got all dirty <laughs> and from the glue and the fabric um, But no matter we, we will continue so I pressed it like basically pulled it taut as much as I could kind of creating little folds so it looks organic, but not too wrinkly, you know, um, and then I ended up just like seeing like So you guys can see here how I'm like kind of pulling it to see can I go all the way across? Can I fill it up? But no, I what I ended up doing is I ended up cutting around it Just gluing that down and then I ended up cutting a circle to put on the top of it So I glued that separately um, Just because I found it to be a little easier. I mean it wasn't perfect, but again, this is you know this is something that's like you can make for fun or in my case I made it for fun and you know to show <laughs> because I love Zorro so as you guys can see here I'm kind of like seeing okay how am I gonna pucker this off of course you can clip it too and then that would help immensely but at this point I just literally just glued it and kind of molded it on itself I kind of like it I, I don't know it felt nice to kind of just stretch it and pull it and and kind of craft it like that I don't know I really dug it so that's basically what I did and you guys are gonna catch a lot of elbow right now because I ended up just <laughs> Just working and I put my elbow to the camera Oh, so as you guys can see the little piece on top and then there's elbow. Hello <laughs> And then I'm um, I don't really show I'm like off camera a lot of it I'm so sorry, but um, I do the same procedure kind of like pull it and you can see a little bit um, for the rim or the brim of it and uh or for the bottom of, let's just say the bottom portion of the hat um and i did the same thing i didn't uh line it oh yeah i did line it actually i'm sorry i repeated the same thing basically so i pulled it on itself and then i tucked it in all the way inside so it was hidden um and then at that point i had a little uh bumper -roo over here i had to put the little band and that created a nicer illusion to it and we're done with the look <clears throat> Out of the night, when the full moon is bright, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> comes the horseman known as Zorro. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This bold renegade carves a Z with his blade. A Z that stands for Zorro. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Zorro, 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 a fox so cunning and he. Zorro, 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 who makes the sign of the Z. Zorro. Always pay your workers. Good job, kid. I miss you. Thank you for your services. <laughs>